welcome to the channel. I'm about to play a different kind of a game called Cross Country USA. It was originally published in 1995 by a company that was then called Didatech Software and is now called Ingenuity Works. Uh, it's a trucking game. Uh, but it's less so much of a, um, a driving simulation game than it is a uh, educational game. So it, it is an educational game. So I'm going to start off here with a simple one commodity uh, transport. Have a safe trip, and remember, drive defensively. Okay, so uh, we are at January 3rd, well into uh, winter, but we're down in San Francisco, and we need to pick up the commodity, which is sheep, and deliver that to New York, New York. And, okay, so let's hit OK. So now, uh, I need to figure out where to get the sheep from. Okay, so I can get uh, the sheep from Sacramento in California, or Flagstaff, Arizona, or Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, but they got to be taken to uh, New York. So let's go back to the game and take a look at the map. Okay, so from San Francisco, uh, the closest city to pick up the sheep is in Sacramento to the northeast. So in order to do that in this game, you're not really going to drive with it. Uh, you're not going to use a joystick or a keyboard or a steering wheel. You can do everything with point and click. Here's the compass. Compass and Sacramento is northeast. So you can uh, hit the northeast on the compass. And that's the gas pedal. And we can click on that. Uh, but before we can do that, I forgot. Let's fasten our seatbelt. Remember, this is meant to be educational in a classroom. And start the truck. So there we go. With Northeast highlighted, now we can hit the gas and move along. So you're going to get information along the way uh, about the uh, economy and other information about the state. Remember, this is from the mid-90s, so very much out of date for today. Uh, but uh, back then, this would have been a really cool game to play in the classroom. Uh, anyway, we need to uh, get the sheep on board. So we've traveled to the city. There's no driving around of the streets. So uh, to get the sheep, we just hit the load button right there. And we do have to type in the name of the commodity. Here we arrive at the farm. I guess everything goes inside the uh, 
regular old box hauler there. Realism of trucking isn't really the point here. It's uh, learning geography. So anyway, we got our uh, sheep loaded up. Uh, one of the things you do have to uh, keep on top of is your health. So we can take a look at that. And we last eight two hours ago, 84 miles. All right, so we're alert, not hungry. Okay. Now right here, as I uh, move the mouse around, we can open up the glove box, click on the local map, and uh, we need to go to New York. So let's just head on east. Click on E, and let's go. Looks like we've got some snow in the area. It is January. Okay, and let's check our health again. Four hours, been awake for four hours and are alert. And I'm hungry, okay. So I'm alert, but I'm hungry. It's 11.38 in the morning. And uh, cause we're hungry, let's go to the restaurant. Look on that button there. Cool Cathy's, every restaurant is Cool Cathy's. Okay, so we are in Carson City, let's go north to Reno, and then uh, northeast, maybe across the state of Nevada, but let's go north to Reno for now. <laughs> Let's check the health. All right, not hungry, and we are alert. Looking good there. Let's go to the dashboard. We do got fuel we got to take care of, but we're okay with that. And so let's go northeast and go all the way across Nevada. Okay, so we got stopped because uh, it got dark. So let's turn the lights on and continue. Salt Lake City, Utah. Now let's check our health. And we are exhausted. I need to eat and sleep after that long trip across Nevada. All right, so let's go ahead and eat and sleep. So now we've eaten and let's go to a hotel and sleep. Okay, and I've played this game before, and I think I always do this. Uh, I do believe there's a way to turn off the truck before sleeping so you don't waste the fuel. I think that truck was running the whole time. Anyway, whatever. Um, we still have to make our way over 
to New York, right? Yep, New York, New York. Uh, so we check our inventory. Our commodity is all collected. Okay, so. Local maps. We want to make our way to New York. Uh, let's go northeast from here. All right, we're already pointed northeast. Let's go. Okay, we're in Rock Springs, and I'm not going to bother to check health. Let's just go east and go. Check our health. Seth and I are just a bit tired. Really should eat. I think we can push it a little further. Let's go back to the local map. Let's head on east and go. It's January, so we've got snow. Oh no, we got a flat tire. All right. So I think. What do we do here? That's Big Ten for a good day. I'm on the way. Click for the tow truck. Fixes our tire and off he goes. Oh, and looks like we're out of gas. Or very close to it. Can we go? Can we move? Well, it's gonna let us drive, but when we get there, we definitely gotta get fuel. Okay, so now we're in Nebraska. Let's first order business, get some fuel. Uh, we're down to 22 gallons. All right, let's just fill it up. Sure. Obviously, we're going to need to uh, have a full tank. And I know we need to eat. I need to check the health. Okay, and let's do our sleep. Cool Cathy's and Big Ed's. 3.42 a.m. Local maps. All right, heading east, heading over to New York. Let's go. Nighttime, transitioning into daytime. Got a hitchhiker. I do believe there's a way to pick up the hitchhiker, but it's usually not a bad i not a good idea actually. So I just ignore that. Uh let's go northeast up to Omaha. It's a short trip. Let's see how we're, we're doing with our alert. I'm very hungry. We are alert, but very hungry. Okay. Don't need to sleep, but we need to eat. So let's go ahead and do that. Do the 
map. Nebraska. Yep. This goes straight east from here. <laughs> We're just a bit tired, but that's okay. Uh, let's check the map, and let's go to Davenport. Yep. Going east. Hit the button there. Hit the accelerator. p.m. health wise we are very tired and hungry so okay we will eat and sleep at the hotel All right, good deal. Let's just keep going east then. Got some snow. Let's turn on the wipers. Get moving. In Chicago. How are we doing here? Hungry. Hungry but alert. Alright, so let's eat in Chicago. The restaurants are not now open. Okay. Well, we're hungry, but we can't eat anything right now, so continuing to New York, we gotta go southeast. <laughs> Gary, Indiana. Wipers off. And let's check our health. Still alert and hungry still. I forget what time. I bet the restaurants are still closed at 1 42 a.m. Yep, not open. All right. Well, let's go straight east then. Okay, now that we're in Toledo, I'm very hungry, a bit tired, gotta get to a restaurant. Okay, so we were only a bit tired. So let's continue east to Cleveland. All right. 
right, so we're still full, but we're very tired. We got 8.23 in the morning, but we got to sleep because we're very tired. Let's hit the motel. Motel, hotel, downtown inn, whatever it is. All right. So it's nighttime again. And did we get hungry in the meantime? Yeah, we are hungry. So let's eat. Okay. Five o'clock at night, we are fed, we are rested, and on our way to New York. Yeah, let's go northeast to Erie, Pennsylvania, I believe. <laughs> should have went down to Pittsburgh, but, wow, they don't have a road up here, hmm, well, let's go northeast up into New York, choice here is to keep going east of Rochester, Syracuse, and then probably down to Binghamton, and then New York. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's check our health. We're still full and alert. So Rochester might still be northeast or east. Yeah, all right, so let's do that. Okay, stop for snow. Let's turn the wipers on. Continue on. Yeah, let's check our health. We are hungry. Hungry but alert. So our gas is getting a little bit low. Ah, we can make it. Let's make another trip. And then we'll sleep, eat, get gas, do all that good stuff. off making the annoying noise very hungry a bit tired well let's get gas eat and sleep let's fill up the tank because yeah why not eat The restaurants are not now open. I've forgotten. Where was I with the eating? Very hungry. Okay. Well. Oh, well. Let's sleep first. Not tired enough to sleep. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's just go south then. To Binghamton. <laughs>
1251. I'm sure the restaurants are closed. Yep, they are closed. But let's take a sleep. All right. Restaurants ought to be open now. All right, one last trip southeast. We are rested, we are fed. Plenty of gas. Let's go to New York. have successfully completed your route. And now we're on holiday. To some tropical paradise. Alright. So, here's how we see what we did. Uh, 664 gallons of gas. $148 spent. Oh, Okay, $664 of gas, $148 of hotel, $82 food, no tickets, 50 bucks in repairs, 200 bucks of wear and tear, $1144 spent, 4 days, 3112 miles. Okay. So, this is, uh, you know, your trip summary, as it says there, and uh, the students can compare uh, their stats by making similar trips and so forth, but it's a neat little game. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. doesn't have a whole lot of replayability in terms of gameplay, so it's definitely educational. Uh, some elements could be added to make it more of a game and less of an educational piece of software, but uh, that's not what this company does. Anyway, I think it's interesting. It's kind of a driving game, so I'm going to fit it in here. And uh, something that I had been wanting to show off. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Have a safe trip, and remember, drive defensively.